think I have been lucky. I think I was born at the right time for my personality. Do you ever watch any of your films? No. Nope. Resolutely? I never, I never see them. Ever. I don't think I've, I've ever seen... I saw a little bit of line in the winter. Don't like to see myself. Born to a large, well-to-do family, Hepburn once told me acting was not a profession her parents believed in. And I think Dad had absolutely no faith in uh, what would happen to anyone who went into the theater. He thought it was the most asinine profession. You know, that it would last five years and that I'd be broke and he'd be taking care of me. She got incredible strength from her mother, a crusader for women's rights, and that impression molded the young woman early on. I was brought up with the idea that women were pretty oh, darn important, you know. But being famous took its toll on her personal life. She was married briefly in the 1930s and never wed again. I've lived life as if I were a man. Now, I don't necessarily approve of that, but I think that's the only way that you can live a public life. You're not living a personal life at all. So she gave up the idea of marriage and children because, as she told me, being a working mother in Hollywood just wasn't smart. Certainly, when I realized that I wanted to be important myself, as me be me, uh, I thought, never have any children. But she did manage to keep her private life private. She spent 28 years in a relationship with a married man whom she deeply loved, Spencer Tracy. I didn't think my life had the feel of a scandal. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I was wrong. But I thought it was a fairly average life. Well. And all those things had been talked about in the papers. I've lived a long, long time and I'm still living, and they better look out, you know, myself. Do you know what I mean? And that apparently meant a great deal to me. Never gossiped about? But we never went out to be gossiped about mm -hmm. either. Mm -hmm. I was very careful that we were not gossiped about. And then the press were very nice to us because they could have been hurtful. And the hurt for the Mrs. Tracy, which would have been wicked. Well, in the last years of Spencer's life, I didn't act so much because he was not feeling too well and he wasn't feeling very confident. And I was in a position to uh, alleviate that situation for him. And he was my good, good friend. And uh, that seemed wonderful to me to be that useful. Most people in this profession are pigs. I, I know I'm a pig. It I know I was a pig. And I was, sense. well, I saw it my way. And that you cannot do, I don't think. I mean, and, and live a generous life. After the Philadelphia story, I just did what I thought was interesting. And if it turned out to be a bore, well, that was my tough luck. I knew how to play tennis better. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing that gets me down. <laughs> Funny. It's always the one that got away, right? Yes, always the one that got away. Thank you, Miss Heaven. Thank you very much.